Washington sanctions against Turkey, and future of JF-17 Block 3 and Turkish Air Force. The Turkish Air Force TAF is the aviation branch of the Turkish Armed Forces. It was founded in 1911 by the Ottoman Empire. Turkey currently operates 250 F-16 and 48 F-4. It's around 280-plus fighter attack aircrafts. Pakistan should make a new approach to Iran as now JF-17 has more advanced versions under the name and price tag. JF-17 can perform air supremacy, interception, aerial reconnaissance, ground support, in-depth strike, anti-ship strike missions and aerial reconnaissance. JF-17 jet fighter is the product of a joint production between Pakistan and China. JF-17 is cost-effective and stronger than the US F-16. The JF-17 can replace the aging F-4 in Turkish Air Force. JF-17 has proven platform. The JF-17 has no major Western components and it can survive any restrictions. This aspect in particular makes it attractive to developing countries. It is cost-effective. JF-17 with mid-air refueling capabilities makes it the excellent platform for Turkey. Chinese and Pakistani anti-ship missiles makes JF-17 exceptional option for ground and sea attack capabilities. It is possible that Turkey buys 48 JF-17 Thunders in future. Turkish Air Force currently operates 48 F-4 Phantom II fighter bombers and 250 F-16 Fighting Falcons. There is an option to replace these 48 F-4 with newer versions of JF-17 Thunders. However these F-4 were recently upgraded to the F-4 Terminator 2020 by IAI. This will keep F-4 in service for another 10 years. Turkey may collaborate with Pakistan in near future on the newer versions of JF-17 Thunders possibly Block 4. It's reported that Turkish Aerospace has another project called TIE Herjet which is fourth generation light attack aircraft and trainer. In addition to this TIE, has started working on new fifth generation stealth aircraft project named TFX Turkey is Pakistan's closest friend. The 1990s after US refusal to deal with Pakistan for F-16s, Pakistan approached Turkey to give MLU midlife update to the aging Block 10 15s F-16AB. Under this MLU Turkey upgraded Pakistan's F-16 to the level of the latest F-16 by equipping them with beyond visual range technology. In 2018 news circulated about a possible joint venture between Pakistan and Turkey to co-produce fifth-generation aircraft. Pakistan gained an edge over its potential partner Turkey, having co-produced the JF-17, essentially a Chinese design based on PAF specifications, though there is still need for collaboration in design and production of any new fighter. Turkey in comparison, though having licensed produced F-16s, lacks comparable modern fighter design experience. Turkish and Pakistani close relationship makes fighter co-production logical. Therefore, present cooperation could well take the shape of a Block 4 JF-17 developed by Turkey and Pakistan to be considered for joint design and co-production, after which a stealth fighter would then be a logical next step. In 2019 some news channels reported news about JF-17 Block 4 to be co-designed and developed by Pakistan, China, and Turkey. According. The former Air Force pilot closer defense ties between Pakistan and Turkey could well take the shape of a Block 4 JF-17 developed by Turkey and Pakistan to be considered for joint design and co-production, after which a stealth fighter would then be a logical next step. Collaborating. In the production of unmanned aerial vehicles these days, both countries could also focus on manufacturing a fifth-generation fighter jet, especially as Pakistan has already co-produced a JF-17 Thunder with China. The PAC JF-17 Thunder is a lightweight, single-engine, multi-role combat aircraft developed jointly by the Pakistan Aeronautical Complex and the Chengdu Aircraft Corporation of China. JF-17 can be used for multiple roles, including interception, ground attack, anti-ship, and aerial reconnaissance. JF-17 is an evolution that started from Project Sabre 2 or Project Super 7, technically both projects were meant to upgrade the Chinese J-7 Taylor to meet PAF's requirements, but when we see the evolved JF-17 of today it is way more sophisticated and advanced to the latter. The foundational work of modern JF-17 started in the late 1990s. The airframe design was freeze in 2001 due to lack of R&D funds, however the first prototype took to air in 2003. A total of six prototypes were made after production started. As of 2020 PAF has 120 plus operational units in service. There are two blocks, Block 1 and Block 2 and the work on Block 3 is in progress which is near to its completion. Block 2 also has a dual seat variant. JF-17 Block 3 will be introduced with more advanced weapon systems including P-1 Lira 15 long-range BVR missiles. Myanmar is first export customer of JF-17 but is not the only state that showed interest in Pakistani JF-17. 
Malaysia, Indonesia, Azerbaijan, Zimbabwe, Bangladesh, Brazil, Egypt, Lebanon, Argentina, Morocco, Nigeria, Indonesia, Algeria and Sudan also want to buy them. Developed. Jointly by Pakistan and China, the JF-17 meets all modern requirements and is able to form the basis of a modern and powerful air force. JF-17 Block II Thunders are equipped with KLJ-7A, Radar and Block III will be equipped with Active Electronic Synthetic Array, ESA, Radars. The first chief project director of JF-17 former Air Marshal retired Shahid Latif once mentioned that JF-17 have the capability to be upgraded 4.5 generation jets. JF-17 Block II are as capable as Rafael, F-16, Saab Jaws 39 Gripen or Su-30. The JF-17 aircraft had been produced as an affordable and modern replacement to French-made Mirage 3 and F-7 interceptors. Pakistan had long been trying to find countries to buy the JF-17 in order to reduce the per-unit cost the Pakistan Air Force pays. The lightweight, single-engine, multi-role combat jet, jointly developed by Pakistan Aeronautical Complex and China's Chengdu Aircraft Corporation, sells at an attractive price point, with a unit cost of just around $15 million to $25 million. The JF-17 can deploy diverse ordnance, including air-to-air -air and air-to-surface missiles, and a 23mm GSH-23 two-twin barrel autocannon. Powered by Klimov RD-93 afterburning turbofan, it has a top speed of Mach 1.6. The JF-17 is to become the backbone of the Pakistan Air Force, PAF, complementing the General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon at half the cost. The PAF inducted its first JF-17 squadron in February 2010. In 2015 Pakistan produced 16 JF-17s. As. Of 2016, Pakistan is believed to have the capacity to produce 25 JF-17 per year. 58% of the airframe is Pakistani and 42% Chinese-Russian origin. As of December 2020 Pakistan Aeronautical Complex has manufactured 70 jets in the country for use by the Pakistan Air Force of the Block 1 type, 50 jets of the Block 2 type, and 20 jets of the Block 3 dual-seater B version. In February 2019 the battle-hardened JF-17 of Pakistan Air Force shot down two Indian planes. JF-17 played a vital role during this mission. JF-17 strike force of PAF which targeted six different points inside Indian-occupied Kashmir. It displayed an excellent stand of range and jamming capabilities. After PAF's retaliatory strikes to punish Indian misadventures, JF-17 served on the front line on combat air patrol missions. Pakistan. The Air Force managed to destroy a MiG-21 Bison in aerial combat, capturing Indian Air Force pilot Abhinandan Barthaman, who was handed over to India on March 1, 2019. Another Indian frontline, co-called Best Jet the Su-30 MKIs was also shot down by Pakistani JF-17. PAF. The AF-17 is a frontline, reliable and lethal assets since its induction in 2010. The Pakistan Air Force already inducted twin-seater version known as the JF-17B for both enhanced operational capability and training. Preparations. For a more advanced and technologically sophisticated Block 3 version of the aircraft are underway and the ESA radar, KJ-7A, has been developed, which can track 15 targets and engage four targets simultaneously. The AF-17 Block 3 will be a single-seat variant. It will feature further avionics advancements such as helmet-mounted display and sight HMDS, system, a new single-panel multifunctional display MFD. An active electronically scanned array ESA, radar paired with an infrared search and track ERST, system, and a cockpit with a flight control stick on the side, an NRIETKLJ-7A ESA radar, more use of composites, a new engine, and a two-seater cockpit option, with a top speed of 2.0 plus Mach. Pakistani Air Force officials have described it as a fourth-generation plus fighter jet. According to unconfirmed media, reports the induction is expected to start around 2021. Serial production of the JF-17 Block III began at the end of 2020. This version has, among other things, an air refueling system and a perfect radar. In particular, the Block III modification is equipped with an active electronically scanned array radar system, which gives the aircraft the ability to detect targets at long range, including against the background of the Earth. In addition to the radar, the aircraft is equipped with several color displays in the cockpit and a helmet-mounted sight, which greatly facilitates piloting and air combat. The ESA radar system, with an active phased array antenna, is the KLJ-7A manufactured by the China Electronics Technology Group Corporation. The CETGC claims the KLJ-7A has similar characteristics to the radar used in the American fifth-generation F-35 fighters. In 
particular, with the help of the new radar, the JF-17 will be able to detect targets at a distance of up to 170 kilometers and will have a combat advantage over the F-16CD and F-15CD base versions, not equipped with AFAR radars. Tracking 15 air targets simultaneously and simultaneously capturing four targets puts the JF-17 Block III higher in capabilities than the Russian Su-30MKI, Su-35S, MiG-35 as well as the French Rafale. The aircraft has high maneuverability, has a modern new generation engine with increased thrust, carries almost four tons of combat load. It can carry short and medium range air to air missiles, bombs, anti ship and anti radar missiles, and outboard fuel tanks. There is a built in 23mm double barreled cannon. Thank you for watching the Daily Thunders, latest news about JF 17. If you want, you can subscribe and like the video. For feedback, please leave your comments. For more videos about JF-17 Thunder please click the bell icon. Appreciate your support, stay safe and keep watching the Daily Thunders.